Let's let's get high. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I I believe that uh, you some some of you may know more than me already. <laughs> not naming names, <laughs> not not implicating anything at all. Hey, let's talk about marijuana. It's so it's usually made from female flowers, um, and it can include the stalk, the stem, and sometimes the root. Okay, it usually is dried, pressed, and cut. It produces a high sensation. It's got a high content of THC. I know the THC in a bit. Okay, so THC is the is the active ingredient inside there. Okay, and usually it's between five to twenty percent. Yeah, and that's what it looks like. So we're quite familiar with this. Uh, quite specific leaves. Okay. We may be more familiar with this. <laughs> yep. So as you can see, you can sort of think about it right now. It is actually female flowers cut and dried. And then after that, you know, they throw in pieces and they use it as they do. Hemp. Very, very similar plant, or under cannabis, still a cannabis plant, harvested usually for its fiber and seeds. It's strong material to make ropes and fabrics. There's no high sensation to this. And the THC is less than 0.3% compared to marijuana, which is 5 to 20%. So here, we're coming to the THC in a bit. So CBD, as you talk about CBD oil, it is derived from this plant, not marijuana. So people talk about, you know, marijuana, getting high on CBD, it's cannabis, all sorts. Yeah, same family, but very different species. So CBD is from hemp, not marijuana plant, just to be very clear. So it's also derived from sort of stem, the stalk, the leaves and the flowers. And it looks like this. <laughs> Just to let you know, in case you're wondering, it's the exact same picture. Yeah. Because they actually look exactly the same. <laughs> so you can see why the confusion would be like, oh, it's cannabis. Because they're actually the same family. The difference is the type, the species in it. Marijuana versus hemp. High THC versus low THC. Yeah. And what it actually looks more in general use is this ropes. They make ropes, but it's all hemp. Yeah, so we've seen these ropes before. So we have talked about two different things. One, I've introduced to you the endocannabinoid system and CBR1 and CBR2. And the second bit was we talked about um, not getting high, but uh, <laughs> cannabis, uh, the difference between marijuana and hemp. And um, so I've eluded the difference is the amount of THCs inside there. So let's talk about this. So what is the good stuff? So what does THC stand for? Now you know why I call it THC, because if you can pronounce that again and again and again, you get a headache. <laughs> so tetrahydrocannabinol is the first and last time I'm going to men uh, mention this in this whole thing. I'm going to refer to THC for the rest of the uh, evening. So THC, it binds to CBR1 in the brain. And remember, CBR1 is the one, the receptor is the one that produces a high sensation. Okay. It can be used to reduce pain, muscle uh, spasticity, glaucoma, insomnia, low appetite, a bit of nausea, anxiety as well. It can increase the heart rate, causes coordination problems, dry mouth, red eyes, slow reaction times, memory loss. Okay, so this is a side effects. So there is a medical aspect of that that you can use this, which has been used before. The high concentration is found in marijuana, not in hemp. So remind ourselves, marijuana is between 5 to 10%. And this is the stuff. That, that's why when they say they smoke marijuana, they feel high, they feel good, they feel pain free, because it does have medical properties on top of stimulating CBR1, giving them the high sensation. And so there are medical properties to marijuana. Compared to CBD or cannabis oil, it binds to CBR2 in the body. And reminding ourselves, CBR2 is a second receptor. It doesn't have the high sensation because it binds very, very weakly to CBD, uh, with the CBR1, okay? In fact, it can sometimes even interfere with CBR1 binding effect in core and reduces psychoactive effects. Completely opposite, you won't get high smoking hemp. 
they get more and more uh, lucid <laughs> on their way. Okay, so it can be reduced. It can be used to reduce seizures, inflammation, pain, psychosis, migraines, depression, nausea, and anxiety. It's well tolerated at high dose with no side effects compared to um, THCs, which we discussed all the side effects earlier on. This is the right from hand.